In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get the most legendary items with invocations as possible. Now in this day and age, we don't just need legendaries, we need legendaries that have the invocations in order to trigger the ancestral property. So what I'm gonna do in this video is teach you how to get those. But we don't just want to teach you how to get them, we want to teach you the top five best, fastest methods to get them. So number one, there's two new locations that you can actually get legendary items with invocations, both the Defense of the Sirengar as well as the Purge of Depths. Now, the Defense of the Sirengar has a guarantee for the Ancestral Weapon. If you look at here, once per week, you can get a bonus one from the normal mode, and then the Endless mode has a lower rate of which to drop these, but these are, in fact, repeatable. The Purge of the Depths can be done, and then these are more for Remnants, however, but this will count as number one, as these are both new additions to the game, I want to make sure I mention them right out of the get-go. Number two is actually the shop. You can go here and gamble for in legendary invocations from mystery weapons and mystery armor. There's also a legendary you can get from the Overlook once per week at the Hilt's Trailer as well. Number three is going to be your Bestuary turning, collecting monster essence to turn them in here at the Bestuary. This is one of the better ways I've got legendaries, not only currently, but throughout the entirety of the game. These legendaries will have a trial a chance to be both ancestral weapons as well as invocations. So it's still efficient going into the new update and you farm this with what's continuing to be on our list, which is overworld farming. I'm not gonna count that as one of them, but overworld farming is another way just going Farming in a circle, you find your favorite circle. For me, for instance, my favorite circle would be the Realm of Damnation. I like running the Plains of Torment, but everyone's got their favorite spot. Running that, the legendaries that drop from actually just killing both treasure goblins, white mobs, blue mobs, yellow mobs, and orange elites, all of those do in fact drop legendaries and they will have a chance to have invocations on them as well. Dungeons can drop both invocations as well as ancestral weapons. Go try out the new dungeon if you want to give it a shot. It actually does give 25 of the battle pass points as well, which is pretty nice. It gives more than some of the other dungeons. But go test out whatever the current boosted one is. You're going to notice that the drop rate that's increased is for set items. This dungeon has increased drop legendary and set equipment. And preferably... Set items are something you're going to want to farm if you want combat rating increase. It's one of the best ways to increase your combat rating. So while you're trying to farm legendary items, they do in fact drop from here. They're just not as a higher rate as some of the other ones. Like the overworld farming and best rate will get you legendaries faster. But considering how important set items are, you can just say, ah, screw it. I'll farm the set items. I'll get the legendaries when they come through the dungeons as well as one other way. The different activities is going to be the number five here. So I'm talking everything from doing like your Shadow War, because you do get legendary drops from there, to doing your daily battlegrounds, to even doing the overworld events. So I'm talking about stuff like going and doing your ancient arena, um, doing the frozen tundra, uh, ancient graveyard when, when the actual an uh, ancient essences show up, etc. cetera. Um, doing your tax collector, which uh, happens from uh, the Ash World Cemetery, which starts here in the Ash World Manor, you get you get this uh, carriage that goes around. Doing the overworld activities can drop legendaries too, and that will have a chance to have invocations on them. Basically, it boils down to anywhere you normally farm legendaries, invocations will be there as well. There was some misinformation in the patch notes saying that it was only in places within warband activities. It's not true. Anywhere legendaries drop, will have the chance to get the invocations, and these are some of the such ways to do it. Consider liking the video or subscribing if it helped you at all out, or if you just enjoyed it. I do get paid more based upon subscribers when it comes to things like sponsors, etc. So you are directly benefiting me. Love y'all. Thanks so much.